Kill Journal and just welcome to Robert Sports Show for WWE Bragging Rights Preview. Sorry, that Bragging Rights Survivor Series. I don't like this whole Raw vs. SmackDown Bragging Rights show crap. We've had it before, we've seen it. It's called Bragging Rights. Survivor Series is a traditional paper one of the big four, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series. Yeah, you had the traditional Survivor Series matches, but you always have your world title matches, your big card matches. Survivor Series started in 1987. From 87 to 91, there was only the 5 on 5 traditional matches. A couple single matches sprinkled in. Since 1992, only three of Survivor Series have not had a world title match. 93, 01, and 2014. We have no world title matches on this card. We have an IC title match, which is just retardedly stupid. And we have the Cruiserweight title match, which, yeah, it's still stupid. All right, let's run down this stupid card. Um, we have the 10 on 10 Survivor Series tag match. Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. Five tag teams from each show. Once one member of a tag team is eliminated, the entire tag team is eliminated. For representing Raw, we have the Raw Tag Team Champions, The New Day, versus Sheamus and Cesaro, Anderson and Gallows, Enzo Mori and Big Kaz, and The Shining Stars, which is Primo and Epico. For representing SmackDown, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Heath Slater, Rhino, Hype Rose, American Alpha, one of the greatest tag teams out there. The Usos and Prezango, which is Tyler Breeze and Fandango. I don't know who wins, don't care who wins. Um, there's six matches total. There's technically five Raw versus SmackDown matches. So I'm guessing since SmackDown's ratings are higher, Raw wins this. So I'm giving the tag team match to Raw. Next, we have the 5 on 5 Survivor Series Women's Match, Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. Representing Raw, we have the Raw Women's Champion Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha Banks, Nia Jax, and Alicia Fox versus SmackDown's Champion Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Carmella, Nikki Bella, and Naomi. Hmm, if Raw won the tag titles, the tag match, you know, SmackDown wins the Women's Match. Next, we have the WWE Cruiserweight title on the line. If Kalista wins, the entire division goes to SmackDown. Well, you pimp a division for Raw because Raw is three hours and SmackDown is only two, even though Raw is not using the division correctly. We have champion the Brian Kendrick versus Kalisto. Huh. Why would you move an entire division off a three-hour show into a two-hour show? Brian Kendrick retains. There's a win for Raw. There to be an Intercontinental title on the line. We have the champion, The Miz, versus Sami Zayn. If Zayn wins, the IC title goes to Raw. I would believe this more if Dolph would have still been champion and Dolph versus Sami Zayn. But no, we have an IC title match on SmackDown, and I have the episode, mind you. And The Miz took back his IC title for a six time title run. Little known fact, The Miz won the IC title in the 900 Smackdown of, a 900 episode of Smackdown. Miz also won the IC title in the 1000th episode of Raw. The last time the IC title changed on Smackdown, August of 2011, five years ago. Miz is a six time champion, the only person to hold the title longer than six was nine time champion Chris Jericho. The last time that the IC title was won during the week and lost on that weekend's pay-per-view network special, back in 1992, the Mountie won the IC title at a house show and lost it to Roddy Roddy Piper at that year's Royal Rumble. So obviously, The Miz retains. So stupid. So then we have SmackDown vs. Raw, both have M2. So the final of that five is the 5 on 5 traditional Survivor Series match. We have Universal Champion Kevin Owens with his best friend Chris Jericho. The best part of that best friend Jericho Owens thing 
it's, it's comical. That's it's the best part about it. The feud you get at the end, Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho. Just say it. I mean, it's comical now. But you know they're going to turn on each other. You know they're going to have a feud. You know that feud's going to be awesome. Um, with Seth Rollins, Braun, Braun Strowman, and Roman Reigns. Team SmackDown, they have the World Heavyweight Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, Randy Otten, Bray Wyatt, and Shane McMahon, which I thought Taker said at the 900 episode he was joining the team. So I don't know how that's going to fall in. Um, I've already had a Raw winning this. Any of these matches can go either, either way. I think Raw wins. There's five of these matches. It's Raw versus SmackDown. I think Raw wins overall. So, ever, ever how they end up winning it. Main event. First time. Or, it's been in the making for what now? 13 years in the making. 12 years in the making, excuse me. We have the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Versus Goldberg. A rematch of WrestleMania 20. March 14, 2004. Remember that date. March 14, 2004. WrestleMania 20. Goldberg versus Lesnar. Goldberg won. Goldberg retired from wrestling. Lesnar left pro wrestling. Or went, left there to be. Went to New Japan for a few, few matches. And then went on the MMA, had his MMA career. Lesnar since returned to pro wrestling and had 35 matches since 04. So 35 matches for Brock Lesnar in 12 years. But Goldberg has had zero matches in 12 years. I don't know how, how Lesnar's going to do in this match because this is his 10th match of the year. That's the most that man's worked in a long time. He only had eight matches last year, four the year before, and three the year before, and two the year before that. Goldberg hasn't been in a match in 13, 12 years. This is going to be the biggest train wreck you've ever seen in pro wrestling. My prediction is, I don't want to see it. But unfortunately I have to if I'm going to watch the show. Lesnar wins. That way we have Goldberg won one, Lesnar won the other. Then we have a rematch for the third time so we know who definitely the better wrestler is. So my guess is at WrestleMania 33 we have the third and final match, Bill Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. And since nobody gets over on Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar would win that. I don't want to see any of this. What I want to see at WrestleMania is Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt, and Bray Wyatt beat him. So Bray Wyatt beat the guy who beat The Undertaker, and Bray Wyatt couldn't beat The Undertaker. Hello, build up on that. It is what it is. Survivor Series, this Sunday, there do be not work. Review afterwards, NXT TakeOver on Saturday. Um, it is what it is. All right. Well, thanks for watching our Sports Show, and I just have a great night. Have an American night.